there have been some relatively high profile Christians who uh, recently uh, have stated that they've left the faith. They've left the Christian faith. Now that almost immediately raises some theological questions, I know, because there's different points of view within Christianity regarding this matter. So, and, and I'm not gonna try and get into that in this particular video. I'm just gonna make an observation based on uh, some of what I've seen and read about this matter. A couple of the high profile people that I've heard about um, they have a cultural and social status that allows them to kind of rub elbows with uh, some of the cool people. <laughs> like they get to hang with celebrities. You know, that's a big deal in our culture. Maybe not, they're not hanging with the A-listers probably, but they're in there with the, uh, you know, the XYZ listers or, or whoever. And see, here's the thing, to, to really be an authentic, Bible-believing Christian, for the most part, is just, it's not going to be cool. <laughs> it's, like, if you're really going to hold the values and live the values of a genuine follower of Jesus, uh, you're not going to be welcome at the cool kids' table. <laughs> You know, in his time and in his culture, Jesus wasn't welcome at the cool kids' table. But and believe me, I have a lot of firsthand experience when it comes to never being a lot at the cool kids' table. <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. Even in first grade, I wasn't allowed anywhere near uh, the cool kids' table. <laughs> if you want other people, and I'm especially like the movers and shakers of our culture, if you want them to think that you're cool and you're hip and you want to be accepted, you want to be with those and accepted by those who are the cool and the hip. The, you want to be a part of like the in-group. Being a devoted follower of Jesus is probably not going to be very helpful. <laughs> in fact, it's likely to get in the way if that's what you're pursuing. So, I think there's a pretty good possibility. Now, I don't know these guys. I don't know their hearts and their minds. I freely confess that. I'm just saying, I think there's a pretty good possibility that some of these folks, I think it's possible they may have chosen being cool and hanging with the cool people over continuing to follow Jesus. When high profile people leave the faith, it's likely that believers are going to feel sad. Like, I feel sad when I hear about this kind of thing. I, we don't like hearing about this. We may even be very, very disappointed if we uh, have been influenced by the, by the ministry of the particular person. The people in our lives, or, or the people who serve as leaders, are going to have some influence on us. They are. That's just, of course, that's just human nature. They're going to. That's understandable. But I want to caution you, be careful about that. I know that's going to happen to some degree, but be very cautious. The fundamental truths of the Christian faith are not dependent on other people. No, they're not. They're not. The fundamental truths of the faith are dependent upon Jesus and who he is, and what he has done. Not what he might do someday. The truths of our faith are dependent on Jesus and what he's done, what he's already, D-O-N-E, what he has done. Hey, root your faith. I know this can be easier said than done. Believe me, I know that. With God's help, with God's help, let's root our faith in Jesus and the truth of Jesus, not in what other people may do or not do, or uh, other people are gonna disappoint us. Listen, other people are going to disappoint us. Hey, I'm a leader and I've disappointed others. Other people are going to disappoint us. The truth of Jesus, on the other hand, <laughs> that's well established, it is firm, it is unshakable. It's happened, it's real, and it's true, and it is timeless.